Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about a very interesting topic called UI action that is commonly used in all of the, our form and then there are many uh, use cases for the UI action. Let's discuss one by one. So if I go back to the incident table, so let's go back to the incident uh, dot list table. So if you see in the, this is my uh, this is my incident table and if I scroll down um, or maybe scroll up there is a actions field and these all are there are a couple of uh, act UI actions okay so these are coming from the basically UI action table okay so let's talk about that what is UI action and how we can use those UI actions so if I open a particular incident event so UI action is mostly used in multiple places like uh, in the con as a context menu. Uh, as a button um, all those stuff so if you see this is the incident form and the incident form you in the top you can see there is a button called um, update uh, resolve delete these are the buttons or we can say the UI action so today we will learn that how we can create a UI action and then UI through the UI action what are the things we can do that okay so without wasting time let's get started So as we discuss here, so if that but this state is in new state, I will show a button called uh, in progress, and then when somebody click on that in progress, by forcefully I'll say it uh, maybe assign to or something like that. Okay, so we'll do one by one. Very first thing to set the UI action, you have to go to the UI action module, and if you see here under the system definition, you have a module called UI action. You have to go to that UI action. Now in the UI action, I am using that San Diego version. If you are doing uh, using the lower version, you can uh, the um, UI will be pretty much same. So you have to click the new here, and then once you click the new, uh, you can see the new form on that UI action. So in the UI action, if you see here, uh, there is a very first thing called name. Uh, in the name, we have to provide that particular name of that UI action. So our case, our UI action name will be in progress. So I'll put that in progress. And here we have to define that for which table I want to show that UI action. So let's say that it should be visible for incident. So I'll put the incident. Okay. Now, uh, after putting that incident, you can see the action name. This is an important parameter. So you can, it's not a mandatory field that action name, but you can, you, uh, you can put the name uh, action name or um, you cannot put that's a uh, depends on you but uh, sometime if you want to call the ui action from a different ui action action name needs to be done so uh, nothing is uh, um, 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 it's not a mandatory but depend on your use case you have to put so active will be flag will be true uh, show inside an update so if you see this is the incident form which is already created so it is not a new form so uh, it is existing form so if you want to show on the existing form, then check that show update. If you want to see the, the um, on the during insert or the new form, you can check that one. So both that by default check. Depending on your situation, you can define that. Now here is the important factor, the client. So UI action can be two type of UI action. One is the um, server side UI action. Another is the client side UI actions. So we'll talk those two points separately one by one first we'll talk about the server side ui action in the server side ui action um, um what are the things we can do so as per our uh, use case today we'll show a button called in progress and somebody click on that in progress the button will set the state will be new to in progress so let's do that first let's first talk about that condition here so condition is nothing but when this button will be uh, visible our case the button will be visible if the state is new if it is in progress on hold or other thing we are not want to show only in, in new state i want to show this button so what we'll do the condition i'm putting that current dot uh, state equal to to one so one the state will be one uh, the, uh, then i want to show this ui action so just save that so right side parameter also an important factor. So where you want to show this uh, UI action that is an important factor. We want to show in our form here. So we'll put that in the form button and then we'll put that uh, order equal to zero. So it will be show on top of that. So let's save that. And refresh our incident form. 
now you can see the in progress button is visible um, but it's not uh, before uh, update because maybe the update uh, uh, button order is minus 100 or something like that we can put that uh, before that so we'll put that minus thousand so that it can come to that before that update button now next thing is that now button is visible now if i change the state to uh, on hold or other state uh, let's take example cancel you can see that button this in uh, this uh, in progress button should not be visible let's validate that you can see that button is not valid i mean that button is not visible anymore right so in progress button is height now so we'll do one thing we'll put the code here so let's take example of this is our new uh, incident here so this incident is a new state and that's the reason in progress is visible but if i click in progress actually nothing is happening so you can see the state is not changed so what we have to do in this actions or script we have to write the script so we'll put the current dot as we are dealing with the uh, server side as i mentioned until unless you check the current uh, the client this UI action will be the server side UI action and the server side UI action how we set the value current dot state equal to so let's say we will set that in progress so in progress value is two so we'll set that current dot state equal to true and then current dot update and refresh our incident form and now uh, we are going to click the in progress button you can see the in progress come to the top now we'll click the in progress button you can see the state is changes to the in progress so that way you can uh, actually basically create a i mean you can see you can create a button or UI action and as it is moved to the in progress state that uh, that field is no more available or that uh, button is no more available okay so this way you can basically uh, uh, run or do some things on that your UI action so this is the UI action which is running on the server side now we'll talk about that how we can uh, you know uh, do on the client side so let's go back to that and then save the new and then you will be able to see that uh, act of uh, that button or UI action is visible now this button is visible and if I click in progress the thing is happening it was running on the server side right so the button is server side now you want to do something you want to show a pop-up message to the customer that do you want to change the state if they select okay then you want to change that so this is the client side so we'll do that for that what you have to do you have to click the client and once you click the client you see you will be able to see that on click function so in the on click function you have to define a function name so let's take an example of that uh, let's see set value something like that i'll define the function and this function will be called in here okay so we will uh, uh, call this function here okay and these functions uh, we are going to um, say let's say declare a c and then i will put the confirm here and then what we will do i'll put some message So when somebody click on that, uh, when somebody click on that in progress, there will be a pop up come up, came up, and then it will say that are you sure that you are going to uh, uh, do that? So if somebody select, I'll put that if somebody select yes or okay, what we are going to do now? This time we are going to do that g dot form dot set value here, and what we are going to do state we are going to uh, set the state, and then state will be our case is the R2 and then what we are going to do G form dot submit now simply just uh, we are going to save that one and now if I refresh that remember that this time this UI action is not the server side UI action it is a client side UI action and we are going to ask some question and if the user if i click the in progress it is asking some question that are you want to change the state i will cancel nothing is going to happen if we click ok it is going to be uh, update our incident form so this way you can actually i mean this is the two way as i mentioned that in the 
UI action we can make that is the client side UI action and also we can make that server side UI action. But remember that client side UI action is not visible to the service portal. We need to be make certain changes to make the visible. But by default, client side UI action is not visible to the service portal. Also, you have a override function. In this override, you can select any of these um, UI action. What will be happen? Let's take an example by default update button, which is visible is the global UI action. You want to make the specific action for this particular table. You just select that uh, that global UI action and then you overwrite whatever functionality of that global UI action. You can do that. Okay. Also, you can see uh, you have options called require roles. Here you can define that for which role this UI action will be visible. If you are not defining any uh, require role, this UI action will be visible for everyone to create that. So let's take example that if I um, double click and set that this role is visible for ITL, I mean this UI action is visible for ITL. So this UI action will be visible only for the ITL and nobody else cannot be see this UI action anymore. So that way you can control these UI actions visibility. Also, uh, you can see there are a couple of options. These all options are visibility. So if you want to show on the context menu, like somebody click right click. And if you want to show that button, you can check the context menu. Uh, if you want to show as a link, if you want to show as a choice list, everything you can do by clicking of these uh, options. Each options have a different, different visibility. Like you can show the UI action in a multiple places. If I refresh this incident form, this in, uh, this in progress button will be visible. Uh, I mean, it won't be visible as it is in the in progress state. Let's go back to the new state and then save that. So this button is visible on that top of the form and then if I right click that you can see also this uh, button is visible because we select the context menu. So these all are the visibility options where you want to show this is the name, this is the table, this is the order, actions and here uh, when it will be showing during insert or update and this is defined that it will be client side UI action or the server side UI actions and this is the comfortable version. If you want to override any existing UI action you can select that and here this field will be only visible if you set the client side. The condition you have to define that which condition this UI action is visible. Always it will be the uh, current dot state and then it will be equal to sign. Here you can define server side key script as well as the client side script uh, based on the selection you select client or uncheck that. Under the require role you can define the which for which role this will be visible. So that's all about this UI action. I hope you guys like my video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.